the less you say, the more intimidating and powerful you become. This quote is from the book The 48 Laws of Power, and it means that you should always say less than necessary. That is why today we're diving deep into seven things you should always keep private to become a powerful man. This is some real powerful stuff, straight from Robert Greene's The 48 Laws of Power. These principles aren't about being shady or manipulative. It's about understanding the game. It's about maintaining your personal power and navigating the world effectively. I'm talking about building yourself up, protecting yourself, and becoming a powerful man. I want you to take full control of your life and your destiny. Let's get into it. it. All right, guys. First up, never reveal your true intentions and plans. You need to understand that not everyone has your best interests at heart. Whether it's your buddy, your coworker, or even a family member, sometimes they're not always going to be happy for you. It's sad. But it's true. Some of them are going to try to tear you down consciously or unconsciously. Think about it like this. You've got this killer idea, a game changer, something that will really change your life. Something like starting a business, write a book, or whatever gets you fired up. Now, you go blabbing about it to everyone who'll listen. You're excited, you're passionate, but you're also vulnerable. Suddenly, you start getting these doubts. People, even the ones you love, they start poking holes in your dream, telling you stuff like, it's been done before, it's too risky, or you're not ready. Next thing you know, their negativity becomes your negativity, and that killer idea, that dream, it dies on the vine. Remember that time Edison was trying to invent the light bulb? People told him he was insane. Imagine if he'd listened to them. We'd all be sitting in the dark right now. The point is, keep your plans close to the chest until they're ready to be unleashed upon the world. Look, I'm not saying you can't trust anyone, but there's a difference between sharing your dreams with a trusted advisor who can actually help and broadcasting it to people who don't do much with their lives. Keep your inner circle tight. And when you do share your plans, frame it as a story. Stories are engaging. They draw people in and they make you relatable. Number two, hide your weaknesses. The problem is when you let your weaknesses show, you become vulnerable. And in this world, vulnerability can be a liability. Think about it like a poker game. You don't show your opponents your hand, do you? You keep your cards close, you play it cool, you project an image of strength. Well, life is the same way. You gotta learn to play the game. And that means keeping your weaknesses close to the vest. I'm not saying you should pretend to be someone you're not. But you gotta learn to control what you reveal to the world. If you don't, people will use them against you. Everyone's got insecurities, everyone's got things they're working on. But you don't need to broadcast them to the world, use them as fuel. Use them as motivation to improve, to become stronger. Remember that time Mike Tyson got knocked out by Buster Douglas? Everyone thought Tyson was invincible, but he had weaknesses just like everyone else. And Douglas exploited those weaknesses and pulled off one of the biggest upsets in boxing history. The point is, don't give your opponents, your doubters, your haters, any ammunition. Keep your weaknesses to yourself, work on them in private, and let your strengths shine through. Focus on your strengths. Become the best you can be at them. Number three, never show off or share your financial informations. This is huge, especially in this day and age where everyone's flashing their cash on social media. Look, I'm all for celebrating success, but there's a difference between being proud of your accomplishments and waving your bank statements around. First of all, it's just tacky. Nobody likes a braggart. And second of all, it's an open invitation for trouble. Think about it. You're basically announcing to the world, hey, I've got money, come and get it. You're painting a target on your back. You're inviting scammers, gold diggers, and all sorts of shady characters into your life. And trust me, the last thing you want is to be dealing with those kinds of headaches. The point is, money attracts all sorts of unwanted attention. Keep your financial information private. Be discreet. Number four, never talk badly about your family members. I love my family. You probably love your family too, but even if you don't, that doesn't mean you need to air all your dirty laundry in public. Look, every family has its issues. It's just the nature of the beast. You've got your crazy uncles, your overbearing aunts, your siblings who drive you nuts. It's part of life, right? But here's the thing, those issues, they're your business. They're not for public consumption. And the more you share them with the outside world, the more you're inviting unwanted opinions, judgments, and drama into your life. Imagine this, you're having a disagreement with your wife, you're both stressed out, you're both saying things you don't mean, it's a normal part of any relationship. 
But now, imagine you go on social media and start venting about it to the world. You're airing all your dirty laundry, you're bad-mouthing your wife, you're basically inviting everyone and their mother to weigh in on your personal life. The point is, family issues are best dealt with within the family. Don't air your dirty laundry in public. Number 5. Keep your romantic relationship private. Look, I get it, you're in love, you're excited, you want to shout it from the rooftops, but trust me on this one, keeping your love life on the down low is the way to go. First off, it protects your relationship. It protects you from people trying to get between you and girl. People start comparing, judging, and offering unsolicited advice. It's like inviting a bunch of strangers to comment on your every move in the bedroom. Second, it keeps things special. There's something sacred about those intimate moments you share with your partner. Those inside jokes, those late night conversations, those shared dreams and vulnerabilities. These are the things that make your relationship unique and special. Don't cheapen them by broadcasting them to the world. Remember those celebrity couples who were always in the tabloids constantly gushing about their love for each other? And then they break up, and it's this whole messy, public spectacle. Don't be those guys. Keep your relationship private, keep it sacred, and keep the drama to a minimum. Number 6. Never tell people how hard you work. Law 10 of the book is, make your accomplishment feel effortless. The next time you do something impressive like having a really good grade, winning a competition or making millions in your business, just continue with your life as if nothing happened. Make it seem as though winning is something that comes naturally to you. I know you work super hard but don't let people know how hard you work. That's one of the reasons why we appreciate magic tricks. It feels magical because we don't really see all the hard work it took to make it look that way. People will then assume that you are more talented than everybody else, and that makes you powerful. Number 7. Never reveal your strategies and tactics. This is about having a game plan, a method to your madness, and it's about keeping that plan under wraps. Why? Because knowledge is power, and the less people know about your playbook, the more of an edge you have. Think about it like this. You're a boxer about to step into the ring. You've been training for weeks, studying your opponent, developing a strategy to exploit their weaknesses. Are you going to tell your opponent your game plan? Hell no. You're going to keep it to yourself, use it to your advantage and knock them out. Life's a lot like that. It's a competition, and the more you reveal about your strategies, the more vulnerable you become. Keep your cards close to your chest. Don't reveal your next move. Let people wonder what you're up to. This doesn't mean you have to be a shady character, always scheming in the shadows. It's about being smart, strategic, and protecting your interests. Remember when Steve Jobs was developing the iPhone? He kept everything under wraps, total secrecy. Nobody knew what Apple was cooking up until that iconic unveiling. And BAM! It revolutionized the tech industry. The point is, surprise can be a powerful weapon. When you keep your strategies and tactics private, you keep your opponents guessing you maintain an element of unpredictability. Thanks for watching till the end. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more empowering content. So there you have it, fellas. Seven things you should always keep private if you want to become a real man. Remember, it's not about being secretive or dishonest. It's about being strategic, protecting yourself, and becoming the most powerful version of yourself. Maintaining privacy and strategic thinking are key to becoming a real man. Apply these principles from the 48 Laws of Power to navigate life effectively. Stay true to yourself, stay hungry, and keep crushing it out there. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.